Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Battlefield 5 has finally ditched the premium pass system for a free live service, but the change has many concerned about the future of the game. DICE recently announced a lot of stuff arriving for the December 4th update. The Practice Range, the Panzerstorm map, and the game's final war story, The Last Tiger. However, they've been noticeably quiet about what kinds of weapons, gadgets, and vehicles we might see added in the patch. And this has alarmed some players who are worried about the post-launch support DICE can deliver. During the Battlefield 5 launch event in Stockholm, I had a chance to speak with David Serland, multiplayer producer for Battlefield 5, on the topic of the game's live service. He says DICE are acutely aware of the expectations for a Battlefield live service. I mean, I hear that and I to completely agree with that can be a feeling if you're a player uh, and especially with Battlefront in mind, which is what I get told repeatedly online every day. Uh, yes, but the proof's in the pudding. Like, that's what it's going to be. You, we're going to show you and hopefully we will surprise you. We're going to start locking things in. Here's the weapons that are part of this. Here's the exact specific things that are part of this. And we will update the whole roadmap and just push it ahead of us continuously. And if we fail to deliver anything from that, that's on us, then you can call us out on it. But before that, we'd rather say too little than too much and surprise and delight instead of, uh, uh, you know, say that we will do X and then it doesn't happen. Uh, because this team is bigger than we've ever had a live team be. Like, considering uh, the B4 stuff was made in LA, which is a tiny studio compared to the Swedish one, and the Swedish studio is running the live service for this game, uh, you can expect more and quicker and broader and crazier <laughs> than ever before. So I, I hope that will it won't satisfy the people that are worried about this, but then then wait and see. Uh, because I, I think we will we will uh, we will sway you with what we actually will show. Serland adds a live service enables developers to release content when it's ready and integrate more feedback from the community. And that may sound like a lot of empty talk, but some Battlefield 5 players recently data mined the game after the last update and revealed a trove of new weapons, gadgets, vehicles, and stationary weapons, presumably in development. Before I get into it, these are not confirmed, and there's currently no official timetable for their release, if at all. But special thanks to Hauptmann HK for digging into the files. You'll find his Twitter details in the video description below. First up, let's talk the data-mined weapons for the Assault class. The files reveal a fan favorite from Battlefield 1 may soon be joining the fray. The Ribby Rolla is listed in the game files. For semi-autos, the Automatgewehr M42 and the Moss 44 were also spotted. The Ribby Rolla features a 25-round magazine, while the other two rifles have noticeably smaller magazines. The AGM-42 is a Swedish weapon featuring a detachable 10-round box magazine, but was commonly reloaded with stripper clips. It's likely this feature will be part of the weapon's progression system, like it is for the Gewehr 43. The Moss 44, meanwhile, is a French rifle, and it also includes a 10-round detachable box magazine. The Moss 44 was primarily issued to French naval commandos post-war, and it'll be interesting to see how DICE balances these two weapons. For the medics, the files list the Patchet SMG among the new additions. More commonly known as the Sterling, the weapon features a 34-round box magazine and a fire rate of 550 rounds per minute. Early Sterling saw combat during the Battle of Arnhem, among other actions. The futuristic Wellgun is also listed in the game files. This compact SMG was developed for the Special Operations Executive and intended to equip those operating behind enemy lines. It fires from a 34-round magazine at the rate of 500 rounds per minute. The Wellgun featured a unique folding stock and did actually see some limited field service. It was a pleasant surprise to discover the ZK-383 as well. This Czech weapon was designed as a squad automatic weapon, but it fired the 9mm Parabellum pistol cartridge. It had a few interesting features including a bipod, quick change barrel, and a variable fire rate between 450 and 750 rounds per minute. 30 and 40 round box magazines were manufactured for the ZK-383, and it did see service in the hands of both Czechoslovakian and German forces. 
For other SMGs, the Lanchester is also listed, which is basically a British copy of the MP28. How DICE plans to make this weapon unique, aside from the sights, remains unknown. For recon players, DICE apparently have plans to add a pair of rifles from Battlefield 1 to the game's multiplayer. Both the bolt-action Ross rifle and the semi-automatic self-slaughter 1906 are referenced in the game files. And support players might also see some new guns. The Darna machine gun appears in the datamined info. This French media machine gun had a withering rate of fire, clocking in at over 1,100 rounds per minute. Commonly mounted to vehicles, the belt-fed Darn was also employed in a ground roll with a bipod. Also spotted was the venerable Browning M1919. This belt-fed media machine gun was a workhorse for American troops in World War II, and unlike the Darn, the Browning has a pedestrian fire rate of around 500 rounds per minute, making it both reliable and controllable. The Vickers K was spotted in the files as well. This light machine gun was a favorite of the Long Range Desert Group, because at 950 rounds per minute, its high rate of fire overwhelmed enemies. 60 and 100 round drum magazines were manufactured for the Vickers K. A surprising entry is the Soloton S2 200. This joint Swiss-Austrian light machine gun featured a fire rate between 600 to 800 rounds per minute. Fed by a 30-round magazine, this LMG featured a bipod and also formed the basis for the MG-15 aircraft armament. Lastly, the Matson and Shoshaw LMG also make an appearance in the game files. Meanwhile, a couple familiar shotguns are mentioned, specifically the Shogren and the M1897. Now, these were my favorite shotguns in Battlefield 1, so I'm excited at the prospect of them returning with Battlefield 5. Now, you might think that's all of the weapons in the files, but you'll be pleased to know there are two new weapon categories, including carbines and machine pistols. It's not clear which class or classes will get access to these weapons if they are in fact added. For carbines, the files list the C96 carbine, the FN 1903 with stock, and the artillery Luger. All of these are featured in Battlefield 1. However, the Delisle carbine is also mentioned. This suppressed bolt-action weapon was notoriously quiet and employed in commando actions and assassinations during World War II. It has a capacity of seven rounds. For the machine pistols, the familiar Frommer Stop and Steyr M1912 P16 look to make a return, but the Astra Model 900 also appears in the files. This full-auto pistol spits lead at 900 rounds per minute and could use either 10 or 20 round magazines. Later Astra models featured a rate reducer that dropped the rate of fire down to a manageable 350 RPM. It's not clear which model of the Astra 900 DICE may include in the future. Aside from the weapons, there were also a number of new gadgets dredged up from the Battlefield 5 game files. Among them is the Haftholadung, a magnetic shape charge designed to destroy enemy tanks. Now this addition might make the tank's Zimmerit specialization more appealing to players depending on the effectiveness of the device in game. Two flamethrowers were also spotted in the multiplayer files, the iconic American M2, and surprisingly, the Einstoss Flammenwerfer 46. This single-use weapon could fire a half-second burst of flame nearly 30 meters. Other gadgets include the Fliegerfaust, a surface-to-air launcher that fired nine small unguided rockets, while the Panzerschreck anti-tank weapon was also included in the files. For vehicles, DICE apparently looks to add a few mobile artillery pieces. The German Hommel, Grille, and the British Bishop all appear in the datamine info. It's not clear exactly how self-propelled artillery will function in Battlefield 5, but hopefully it won't be a repeat of the mortar trucks in Battlefield 1. Lastly, there is finally an indication that the infamous German 88 will be more than just a set piece. The gun appears in the game files, as an actual stationary weapon. Again, all of these weapons, gadgets, and vehicles are only speculation until confirmed
by developers. I don't think we'll see everything here dropped all at once. DICE devs certainly know they need to meter out new content regularly to keep things interesting for players in the long run, but it is nevertheless very encouraging for those of us who are on the fence regarding Battlefield 5's live service. What are your thoughts on the data mined info? Which is your favorite? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Tap the bell for the latest Battlefield 5 videos, and check out my Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and uh, I even have an Instagram now for some reason, but you can always find more Battlefield content there. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh,